Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and I've got some exciting things to share with you today. If you have not seen yet, Caesar just released right yesterday before I record this video, the new Caesar Leonardo Apprentice, which is AI into the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. Now this is not a tutorial on the Apprentice part of the software. I am going to use the apprentice and I'm going to show you a tool that is going to help you when you are working with designs that, and this can be for designs through the AI apprentice part of Leonardo or even designs that you are working with yourself. But when I started, this is the very first design that I pulled up. I have no imagination when it comes to search terms. So leave in the comments below what you would search for what kind of projects are you looking for what would you use the leonardo apprentice for and just get in and play around there are links in the description below to caesar's video on the leonardo apprentice and telling you all about it a couple things i want to tell you first one use your common sense if something is recognizable as a brand a trademark copyright it doesn't matter what ai program brings that into it it's still under copyright trademarks and the brand name so use your common sense when you are using any ai program two read the terms of use this goes for all software and i know i'm at fault when this comes down to it i skip that fine print you need to be reading the fine print for all programs that you are utilizing. Any AI program that you are use, utilizing, no matter what website it's coming from, read the terms of use. It makes it very easy in the Leonardo Apprentice for you to do that. And I would highly suggest that you just take a look at that. Most people do not know what they are agreeing to when they click agree and sign those terms of use. And in most cases, all of these terms of use across all these platforms are the same, pretty much the same. And you've already agreed to most of them without even reading them. So in that, I started playing around. This is my very first design. Again, I want to stress, I am have no imagination when it comes to this. I drew an absolute blank when they said, test this, play with the software. I asked my husband, he looked at me with a blank face. And then he started naming a list of just generic things. First one up was a campfire. So I went in, I'm gonna show you Leonardo Apprentice here and I'm gonna show you a tool that is going to be so helpful when you get into working with these designs. If you haven't noticed, I get excited and then I start talking fast and then I get out of breath. So Leonardo Apprentice, links in the description below to more information on the Caesars video for this. You can also find videos on tutorials on the left-hand side of your Caesar Leonardo Design Studio software. You're going to find the Leonardo Apprentice underneath the design library. This works off of a token base. Now I'm not gonna go into all the details. Please read those yourselves and please check out that link for the Caesar video so you know exactly what you get. Nothing is free. Somebody has to pay for that. So there is a way you can use this, but it all comes down to those details. So you check those out yourself, play around with this if you choose to do so. This is my first design. So I came in here, Leonardo Apprentice. I simply scrolled down the page. I read through their notes first on how to get the best images possible. This will improve as we go along too. Another thing to note here, this is web-based. It is pulling information from the internet. It is web-based. All of these tutorials, all of these links over here, all the way down to design are all web-based. So they do have to have an internet connection in order to work. The Leonardo Apprentice is the same way. So I pulled in down here, there's pro tips, there's art styles. Um, you're gonna see that at the very top, I've already generated my image. So that's why you see the image first. I just typed in campfire. I'm under vector. So it's going to bring in a very basic um, image. It took about somewhere under a minute, which it tells you that right here. In about a minute, it's gonna generate something. So what I did, you can choose to download this. Again, read those terms of use so you know how you can use this. Download, or you can choose to open. I did both, but what I did was come over. I've already opened it, so I'm gonna pop over to my design. You would choose open. 
when I come in, this is exactly how my image looks. If it's grouped all together, here I can see, I can't remember if I ungrouped this, I just saved my page so I could share this little tip with you. If it's grouped together, ungroup it. And then I was simply able to take this black background away. I don't need that, I can press delete. But what you're going to see here is if I, I'm over here in my layers panel, I have all of these layers. Every single part of this design that was brought in is individual. So if I grab this, all of these, like the orange is not connected to the orange. And you can see there is a lot. So I have a lot of this white here. Let me see if I can make it a little easier to see. If I come up to view, if I show, no, no, that won't do it. Um, let's go into dark matte. Okay, so now you can see there's white, there's black, there's orange, all different pieces. And in the layers panel, you can see it's all individual pieces. I'm gonna come back here to show page map. If you come over here in this layers panel, click on more. You can select current color, select all, invert selection, select current layer, select shapes by color. Click on that. And now I have black, I have orange, I have white. I can easily click all the black, choose accept, and all of those black are now selected in my layers panel. If I do control G, group, it's all one grouping. So now when I select that, it all moves as one piece. Yay! Okay, I get excited over little things. Okay, so over here in more, and really what happened was I started pulling this design apart and I was like, that's a million white pieces. Okay, but I can come in and I can use the tools in the Leonardo Design Studio software and I can help. But those tools, you just need to know where to find them. So white, except all of the white is selected. Control G, it's all now one group. Same thing with the orange. Now the orange is only four and it's minimized now. So I could select here, click my shift key and click on the bottom one and select all of those. So either way you use it, select by color and you have more options down here. So make sure that you are getting into your Leonardo Design Studio software and playing around. I think this is going to be a very useful tool when it comes to working with these designs, not just through Leonardo Apprentice, but also anybody who designs a file that you don't have control over, all designers are different. So if someone has designed a file and it opens up with all of their colors ungrouped, this little tool can save you a lot of time. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. AI is one of those things, it's sticking around. Use your common sense. There is just, there's a lot of things that are fluid right now that are changing. I really just strongly encourage you to use your common sense. Let me know in those comments below what you would search for. I'm kind of curious to see, and I'm gonna put up a fun post on the Swift Creek Customs, the Creating with Caesar Facebook group here soon. I wanna see what people are generating with this. So again, links in the description below for more information on Leonardo Apprentice. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications. And thanks for joining me. Have a great day.